are a lot of things from the 80s that make me angry. Are there things from the 80s that make you angry? There's Ann? things from the 80s slash 90s that make me angry. And the last things, couple of minutes that we have, we're going to start a new bit called... Things I'm still mad about. Awesome. Um, so, you know, we I've been in discussions about this particular bit for a really long time, mm-hmm. mostly because... Our lawyers have finally okayed it. You guys are great. <laughs> um, no, because it was all kicked off by um, somebody, my brother, you, by the way, for doing this. He sent me um, a video of the opening credit sequence to a like late eighties, mid like um, early nineties children's television show that was on PBS mm-hmm. called Zubilee Zoo, which is Zubilee don't Zoo. you fucking dare! Zubilee oh my god, Zoo. I will that kill you! I hate you! I hate you so you. much! I want to talk about this and I just get mad. <laughs> and I just had a freaking stroke. <laughs> the last episode of the show. And some 90s kids are just popped in a- another incredibly weird boner. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was this, you know, late 80s, early 90s children's um, show that was like, you know, edutainment mm-hmm. that they did on um, PBS. And the conceit was is um, Zoobly Zoo – took place in some sort of, I don't know if it was a zoo, if it was supposed to be some sort of like town or world or sort of some sort of like horror dimension. Well, no, I there, don't was know. A, there was a mayor. So yeah, yeah there was a town. It was, yeah. it was some sort of and an incorporated was, township. And it was full of animals who, you know, taught you valuable lessons. And mm-hmm. they all, you know, had um, different interests that, you know, were specific to them. And obviously Mayor Ben was played by Ben Vereen and... In the in the in the opening credit song, they talked about he was there to lend a helping hand, but really, what Mayor Ben was there to do because they didn't have Ben Vereen money for like a whole episode. Of ben Vereen money. Ben Vereen was there in the beginning and the end of the episode to tell you about what you were going to be learning that day, and then of course at the end wrap up so you know the kids could understand the lesson that they were supposed to impart with that episode. Um, so there's that one, and then they had. Um, Van Gogh Lion, who was to me the most tolerable Zubal, which is what they were called, Zubilee Zoo. They were Zubals. And he was a lion, obviously. Mm. And um, he was a painter, also obviously, because his name was Van Gogh. And there was Builder Beaver, who was one of the most forgettable. Um, He built stuff. So, I mean, there's that. Mm -hmm. And then, God, who else? There was Bravo the Fox. Um, yeah, was, well, you're, getting, you're, the getting, Fox? you're getting deep A in. A Fox? Well, hey, if we're going to get deep in about this, uh-huh. I have to freaking talk about everything. Now, the thing about Bravo the Fox, he, I hated him. Okay. Not as much as I hated others, other Zoobles. I did hate him. He apparently was attempting, the actor was apparently attempting to do an Ed Gwynn impression. He did it badly, and he just sounded like... Ed Gein. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, boy. <laughs> That'd be a I'm very just different show. My, 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 I'd be, uh, there's another one. I'd be interested to see that show. I'm That'd be an interesting take. Up and I'm going wear his no, skin but he, like a dress. he was um, into theater, and you know, he just ba- basically sounded like a really bad gay stereotype. He kind of sounded like um, Snagglepuss. Exit, yeah. stage left, don't you yeah. know? I think he was trying to go for Ed Gwynn, but ended up sounding like a really terrible Snagglepuss. Mm. Um, God, who else? There was Takachu Kakachu, who I so just... let's get to the... Why did this piss you off? I'm getting there. I'm talking about it right <laughs> now. Are you kidding me? So I the was whole just getting thing, into the wait, meat of the it. The fact that it, this you're so infuriated I'm so, does not... Just let me work out my thoughts about it. I'm getting attacked. <laughs> you interrupted me in the middle of talking about Takachu Kakachu. How dare you, first of all. I wanted to strangle her with stockings, dude. I hated and, her. And some furry right now just popped a really weird bone. I don't know, they probably did, too. <laughs> and the, there's, like, several things about Takachu Kakachu that really bothered me. Like, first of all, her name. Okay. Secondly, the actress who played her. Um, thirdly, her performance. Because she, obviously, you know, she was, like, you know, attempting to do, like, the whole bird bit or mm. whatever. So it's like, Rah! <laughs> and I couldn't stand that. But the thing, and the other thing is, she's supposed to be a cockatoo, right? She's talking to cockatoo. That's her freaking name, right, dude? Except her color and her, her pattern. too. Her she color and her, her color and her 
fucking patterning was apparent. <laughs> she was green and red like a freaking macaw, but her, she was called Takatu Cockatoo. That's not what a cockatoo looks like. You've never seen one. <laughs> Have you never seen a cockatoo? <laughs> and I guess she was a journalist or whatever. At, at this point, I don't care because I just wanted to strangle she her with like rope. A, she, she was, was so like a annoying. Dollar store Rita Skeeter. Oh God, I would have rather had Rita Skeeter. Oh gosh, she would have been better, a hundred percent better. And then we get into the uh-huh. stru- <laughs> disturbing um, selection. God, what was the name of that kangaroo? I can't remember the name of the kangaroo. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to look up Zoomly Zoom because I can't remember the name of the stupid freaking kangaroo. Because I just Bill wanna... Versace was his name. <laughs> Bill, Bill Versace. Bill Versace. That's why I can't stop thinking about Bill Versace. <laughs> But like with ta- like I got too much in the weeds with talking to cockatoo. I'm so sorry. Okay, so the kangaroo was what's that kangaroo? And she was in the disturbing spectrum of Zubily Zoo because she was the only Zubal mm. who had a form fitting costume besides Mayor Ben, but you only saw him and it wasn't really like sexualized or anything. You only saw him at the beginning or the end. So, so what you're saying is she had boobies. Um, it wasn't just the fact that she had, had like boobies. childbearing hips. Yeah, she was very, very visible, a very beautiful young lady. And um, she was coded in the show as being a child. And the fact that she wore bippy tops and consistently kind of, she was like, her whole thing was like dance and music. So she consistently did a lot of dance moves. And it was just like, it wasn't overtly sexualized, but it kind of was at the same time. So there was just like, there was like a real ew factor with her particular character for me. Like I would just watch that and go, this is yeah, what it pervert was that- came up with this. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It, it's obviously made by a pervert. Yeah, it's, it's obviously made by a pervert. Who, it's made by a, a ton of perverts. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of like the first time that you go see cats and you suddenly realize that something has awoken inside of you. <laughs> but like, cats <laughs> is supposed to be sexy. This is not supposed to be sexy. This is a children's television show. I always liked actually sitting in like the first few rows because when the cats come down I and hate dance, that. That's they a would nightmare. they would sometimes sit on your lap and I do have to that admit because it's not the cat part of it it's the me. dancer part of it it's the dancer yeah, okay. underneath the cat costume listen um, we're getting we're getting rear off, end in your I face. don't want to I don't want to think about you wanting to to fuck, um the rum tone tugger cuz that's not what I'm here for right now what I'm here for right now to tell is to talk about how much I wanted to kill Lookout Bear. The character and the actor that played him, I fucking, I fucking hate him so much. Well, but, but, at, okay, so he was like an adventurer. He was also the other child coded one, but you know, he, obviously, because he's a boy, he didn't get to be sexy, which unfair. Again, yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that was gross. I mean, he I'm sorry. expressed sort of some of those like masculinized. Yeah, he uh, enjoyed adventuring and travel. Adventuring. And I like it. Everything more. about him. I like challenge. Somebody go out. You look, look up. Don't. Look out there. I'm begging you. Don't. Don't I look just up any of this stuff. I just want to punch him. This entire episode has been, a, has been a dire and Ooh. stark warning to everybody who you, listens No, to you go all. look up don't Zoobly look, Zoo. Don't you look see up what Shattered the Bad. Don't look up Zoobly Zoo. Don't. We've been there. We stared into the face of the Cthulhu and Nightmare. <laughs> so, so, like, I hated this f***ing show. I hated this show so much. Um, but... My, and my brother and sister, because they're so much younger than I am, um, 12 and 14 years respectively younger than me. So obviously they were at the age during this time to watch the show and they watched it a lot, especially during um, summer breaks. And I was a very tired teenager and um, they would watch the show at full volume and I would wake up to it. Um, a lot of people back in the day complained a lot about Barney. Listen, I don't give a shit about Barney. I think Barney is innocuous. I never had a problem with Barney other than the fact that my kid, my brother and sister played it at like full volume in the morning and woke me up. That was the only thing that Barney bothered me by. He was a big dumb dinosaur who just wanted to teach you your ABCs and how to be nice to each other and he jumped around a lot. And he I have no He's a hugger. problems with Barney. I have problems with Zoobly Zoo. I can't stand the show. I couldn't stand it then. I can't stand it now. I hate it so much. I hate it. However, there is one small gold and silver lining. No, at, not, that, there's no gold and silver so the, so lining. Is, is that is that one of the one of the actors in it actually Zoobly ruined Zoo it for me. jumped 
fucking ship yeah. to be the voice of yeah. Rio in Jem. And he I didn't find this out. His cast. I didn't find out until my brother had sent that to me, and then I just started thinking about how much I hated the show. And of course, then I had to go to Wikipedia and um, hate read about it. And <laughs> you're just going down to the you just wiki hopping, and six hours later, and six hours later, I'm just infuriated, bleary eyed, reading and, everything. And yeah, reading everything I can about Zoobly Zoo and the production of this horrible tele- children's television show that I hated when I was a teenager. And, and, you, hate know, now. and you now know more than people who honest and that's, to God And that's how I found it. out that the original person who played Builder Beaver um, jumped ship to play Rio on my favorite show when I was that age. Ooh, jam. Jam. And so now it's ruined Jam for me because all I can think about is that is the guy who originally played Builder Beaver. Well, I think that's it just that how going to wrap it, wrap it up for us today. Um, I do want to leave you with one final question. Oh, God. From Yahoo. Do staring at and picture of sun makes me blind? <laughs> this has been Why Don't We Have Our Own Show. I'm Scott. This is Anne. Patreon. Check us out. Uh, uh, WKTV. Oh, Thank you so much for hosting this ding-dong podcast. <laughs> Make sure you stare at the picture of the sun to go blind. <laughs> <laughs>